Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Prison Architect. Now, today we have to deal with some issues that uh, past me created when we decided to intake a bunch of criminally insane. Now, all of these crazy assholes are running around the prison doing stuff that we don't want them to do, like killing prisoners! That is not good. Now, by the way, this prisoner was killed by a uh, high security prisoner. Not. Stop! Where is the guy? The guy was right here. He was being. Uh... Oh, okay, here he goes. White over here. He decided that uh, it was a good idea to kill the other prisoner. But in any case, in any case, most of the deaths that we had so far. Uh, 16 deaths so far was due to criminally insane. However, we try to counteract that by go over here to the regime, uh, putting the criminally insane with the minimum security prisoners, uh, trying to uh, separate uh, the groups created to groups, uh, at least during um, uh, dinner and lunch to try and minimize the deaths caused by those crazy bastards, but in any case... In any case... Um, we are going to continue expanding. Um, this is for medium security prisoners. Uh, we have a few uh, slots available, so that's why we are going to intake 5 medium in 12 minimum. Um, we couldn't take more minimum, but uh, I want to leave uh, a small um, margin for error. Oh, yeah, before I forgot, one of you suggested down below that I could do this. Oh, I can't. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I thought I couldn't, you know, because I tried to do this and it wouldn't al allow me. But apparently, if you go like this, as long as the cog is on top of the gate, it should work. Now we are going to need power as well. Luckily for us, we have power right here. When, the out on, when on the outside, you need to drive the power straight into the thingy. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Uh, this is drawn out of power, so we can connect that for now. And we then replace this by a green energy source. But yeah, this way we can then uh, take these two guards out of their patrol duties and put them back inside the prison uh, to take care... Why am I going on post? To take care of any prisoner. The, the, to take care of the prisoners, not any prisoner. And uh, yeah. So, plans. Take care of this. Then take care of the mission eco-friendly using only the uh, green power source sources to, f to um, supply energy to our prison. Not base, I was going to say base, but not base. Um, and after that, we are going to make a little bit of money, and the next few grants are actually pretty easy to do. We have the self sustaining. Oh, nope. And that, uh, uh, where is it? Giving something back, I believe. Yeah, sell uh, 2,500 units of power back to the grid. Easy money, and then and then I'm pretty sure that we can do more missions in this line of um, of grants, right? Because uh, this is for, this is part. These are missions from the DLC uh, going green or something like that. I don't I don't remember the name. And so I'm expecting to have more than three missions, you know. Uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I feel like the game is trolling me. Like it says in here. There is no canteen accessible to this cell. Prisoners in this cell will have nowhere to eat. What the fuck, bro? Like, the game is trolling me so hard, and I'm... See? You just got tased in the face. That's what happened to people like... Oh, come on, game. You're really going to force me to go like this for every single room? Oh, my God. Well, at least you can shift-click this. Well, damn game. Like, I, I really don't understand, like, uh, what the hell is going on with the game lately? First is the fact that we cannot, um... What? No, how do I, how, how do I remove this? Get, the, get away from me. Uh, you can also eat in here, for now. Is everything okay now? Are you sure, game? Like, uh, first... 
yeah, as you can see, like this thing is not yet powered. Let's open the door manually. Open the door manually. Open the door manually. Jesus Christ, bro. Like, what the hell is going on? Oh, because I'm on pause. I'm such a, a freaking moron sometimes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I was like, what the hell is going on? Why is this not opening? Because uh, I, I am stupid, that's why. In any case, guys, I feel like the game... Uh, really? Once again? What the hell? I don't get it. There is no prisoners in there, so I'll, I'm not going to concern myself too much with it. But still, uh, I'm kind of getting a little bit annoyed with this constant... Um, like, first, uh, first it was this, right? Uh, the outside is shared. Like, I know that we have to share the outside world with everybody, but the prisoners don't have that right. You know, they're prisoners for a reason. The outside world is not supposed to be shared with them. Oh, Doc. Thank you. The Doc is, the doc is calling me to calm me down, you know. A prisoner has been seriously wounded in a workshop accident. Well, too bad. And can't be moved. Send a doctor quickly. The fuck. Who? Like, is this a thing now? Oh. My. Lord. What the hell? Do I want to know what the hell just happened in here? I don't know if I want to. But, uh, and... Ah! I'm sorry, guys. M my cat just decided to scratch my legs. Trying to jump into my lap. Don't do that, please. Okay? Okay, Doc. Patch this dude up. Come on, he's bleeding. He cut his arm in the press. Uh, how that can happen, I have no idea. But in any case, um, let's hope that the game stabilizes from now on so that we can build our prison cells, our cell blocks, I mean, and then starting taking more prisoners, making more money, so we can then move on to our max security um, wing on the other side of the road. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Everybody is... It's shackled! No, this can't be right. I'm sorry, guys. The game... This must be a bug. Like, I understand, okay, that the prisoners, you know, from time to time, they like to misbehave, but there was no riot in this prison, okay? If the, Trust me when I tell you this. If there was a riot... I, first, I would have it. Sh I would have it show it to you, and then it would be a bloodbath. Because I all, whenever there is a riot, I always authorize use of deadly force, and I go crazy with it, and I just kill everybody that is moving and not surrendering. Okay, that's a, that you have to show force during those moments, right? To uh, to keep them down. Uh, so that didn't happen because there is not a, a gigantic pile of corpses on the floor. Uh, so what the hell did you do? Character, experience, found drugs, none, recent misconduct, none, none, found tools, none, uh, none, hey Barry, what you did, none, nothing, I am innocent, I say! Like, what the hell? Like, recent misconduct. Nothing. They pretty much did nothing, and yet they are all... Like, I don't know. I'm going to ignore it for today, and then I will see what happens. And here comes the huge shopping list that completely drains my bank account. Like, I find amazing, right, that you go over here into the clone. Oh, I don't have the clone just yet. Well, not this one. If I go over here, right, and do clone this, right, it clones everything from rooms to pieces to everything. It says over there, estimated price 23,000. Well, that's probably just for the foundation because uh, <laughs> that's no 20, 23,000 shopping list that we have in there. Oh, no good, sir. But uh, in any case, given that we are at... The Jesus, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I keep thinking this is oxygen not included where I, I need to... um. Pause the game in order for uh, the frame rate to be acceptable. But uh, in any case, uh, given that we have the power to spare, I um, I connected the scanner machine to help us out and um, try to find a little bit more contraband. Uh, so far, nothing found just yet, but uh, 
the dogs outside, well, they are doing a pretty good job finding the drugs, so in here we probably will have a couple of weapons stashed away, but nothing major. In any case, guys, I will keep continue monitoring the, the situation, but if the game continues going crazy like this, like, I have no idea what the hell is going on first. Like, this game was extremely stable. I never encountered encountered bugs like the ones I'm finding right now. Bro, you, you, you trapped yourself in. No, that's my fault. That's not a bug. That's me being dummy. There we go. But uh, in any case, the game used to be super stable, and now there is bugs like this happening left and right. Look, what the hell? Everybody is in the... Like, at first I thought it was just the... Um... At first I thought it was just the um, minimum security prisoners because I was messing with the... Um, what is it? Deployment. Right? Right here. I was trying to make a custom sector for minimum, me minimum, medium and max security to keep the criminally insane from wandering too much over here given that now they have their own wing. Right? Like right here. And uh, I even made their own canteen. Oh, I just forgot to put the benches in. But that can be uh, easily done. Just like this. Uh, maybe not that mu that one. There we go. Um, but yeah, like I, they, are, they are going to have their own canteen. So there is no need for them to come over here. So I, I kind of want to segregate the criminally insane out of the rest of my prison. Keep them, keep them in here and uh, not... In fact, given that they are in here, like, you are criminally insane, okay? You either chose to be like that by... Uh, you either ch uh, pr chose to pretend to be insane or you are really insane. Either way, I'm sorry, but there is a no yard time for insane people from now on. You lost your privilege. You kill too many prisoners. But yeah, I was messing with the logistics over here, right? With the deployment. And uh, I t kinda tried to make a custom sector for minimum, medium and ma medium and maximum security guys, right? Uh, which would exclude the criminally insane from wandering, wandering in uh, to the rest of the prison and causing us trouble. Right. Really game. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe you. You you are trolling me beyond all recognition. You know what? Um, dismantle this. Okay, don't put that in there. Come over here. Okay, demolish this wall. Then we can access this place over here. Because uh, I'm running low on uh, cells right now. So uh, I kind of need to expand my solitary confinement O2 over there. But uh, yeah, I thought at first that maybe I, I did something to break the minimum security guys, but clearly everybody from maximum to medium security, everybody got uh, shackles on there. And I don't get it. But in any case, guys, if this is going to continue, then um, I'm going to call it uh, an end to this series. Otherwise, if I, I find a way to fix it, because, uh, you know, we already advanced pretty... M pretty well. We got through the worst part of the game, which is the early game, you know. The early game is the most difficult part of the game. Once you get past that part, the game is easy. It's not easy, but you get what I mean. You can make money easily, you can expand easily. It's it's easier to control uh, your um, prison when you are... <sighs> I don't even care. When you are um, at this stage of the game. And uh, I would hate to stop right now because of some stupid bugs that keep annoying the crap out of me. But uh, if this shit continues, like, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't enjoy uh, the game screwing me over time and time again. Well, these criminally insane are giving me more and more reasons <sighs> to segregate them. At least they kill each other. Well. Every day there is a murder in this prison, and uh, the danger level is low. Imagine this when the danger level starts getting all the way up over here. What is missing now? There is no prisoners assigned to this. Oh, don't worry, because uh, from now on, the prisoners you will start eating over there. There we go. 
fantastic. Uh, this sh we should probably go into staff and uh, acquire one more cook, uh, because someone needs to take the food from this kitchen and uh, bring it bring it all the way over here. And that requires a little bit more labor, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. We can um, we can hire more people. Well, Smith, you better behave, or you are going to get. <gasps> no, a cop! They they killed a the security guard. You freaking bastard! You know what? Fuck you! Where is it? Come on! Come on! Do you really? There you go. See? See what get in you got? Like. What game? <laughs> this guy just got shot in the face with a with birdshot and is unconscious. The the, the uh, cop got uh, banged, got fist in the face and died. Uh, well, that's... okay. In any case, we shot our very first shell of the game, and uh, the dude didn't die. That's disappointing, to say the least. But okay. Okay, guys. So. Now that there is a canteen working over there, I think it is time to segregate the criminally insane from the general population. Make sure that these bastards cannot access anything. Uh, maybe the infirmary. It's probably a good idea for them to be able to access the infirmary. Uh, well, theory, in, in theory, given that they cannot access this corridor, they cannot access anywhere else, so... No, right now. This is staff only. I think that's it. Yeah. Now, by uh, making this custom security sector in this corridor, canteen and common room, we make sure that uh, these insane bastards stay near all day. And, uh... I don't know if uh, this will allow them to pass through or not, but uh, this area should, should deter them from doing anything wrong. But uh, in any case, hopefully, the... Um, Murder rate in this prison will now drop, given that the crazies will no longer need to be, um... Well, we start today with a taser! There we go. Oh my god. Uh, as my uh, electronic teachers used to say, he started the day laughing. Uh, but uh, in any case... The situation was controlled, and now let's see if this is going to have any effect on the uh, behavior of the prisoners in here. Uh, can someone please come over here? Like, right now? Orderies, where are you? Can, can you guys, like, come over here? There is a fight taking place. Uh, there is, uh... Anyone else around? No? Okay, I suppose someone else is going to die today. Because the guards don't want to do their freaking jobs! I'm pretty sure I did... Yep, there is deployment over here. Come on, come on. Stop them from killing each other. Holy Jesus, what the hell is going on in here? You were clearly out of your mind. There we go. At least we prevented them from killing each other. That's... that's a positive, okay? Look, we found another Polaroid. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, I don't think I had that one. So, um, yeah. Now, just to make my life a little bit simpler, what I did, I ordered a shakedown of the minimum security only areas, and then I just came over here and did a search uh, cell block, because, you know, with cells it works, with dormitories it doesn't. Uh, that's why uh, we are, we have the shakedown underway uh, graph over here, but uh, yeah, it's only for the uh, minimum security area. And we are not finding many things, but uh, I found that a daily search of every single cell um, is always a good idea. Well, here we go. Oh, a guard appeared out of nowhere and uh, tased him in the back. Oof. That was close, because uh, this guy, I'm pretty sure he's tough or something. Yep, extremely strong, extremely volatile. Uh, this is the kind of guy that can uh, kill a couple of guards uh, in uh, one go. And uh, we probably should be careful with that. 
Really? Bro, this guy is dying. Come uh, take care of him. Yeah, he's like, uh, bro, it is my break. I'm not going to care. You, are you going to take care of him? Bro, I know that these guys are not the greatest people in the world. Mm, okay, okay. So no one is going to care for him. There is no doctors. Where are my doctors anyway? Probably in the staff room, I would uh, say. No. Where are the docs? Well, apparently, you are going to... You are going to die out of an overdose because uh, you got stupefied. Oh. It, ca it came someone to save you. Lucky guy. Now, I am once again searching for my docs. I have two of those, don't I? Staff. Two docs. Where are they? Let's go in here. Staff. Doc. And this doc. Okay, there is someone in here taking care of the patients. Thank God. Like, I don't get it. Why are not the staff coming to their deployment? Wait. Wait, we found out something. Why is not... What? Oh, I'm pre... <coughs> hmm... Okay. This is wrong. Uh, that might explain a few things. I probably was a little bit dummy. Okay, deployment for schedule number one. I want one guard. One dog for drugs, one armed guard for confusion, two orderlies to constrain them. Right? That should mean that right now, yep, these guys should be here as well. Okay, maybe there was some sort of uh, confusion. Now let me just double check on the regime. The crazy guys, they eat at 11 and 12, 11 and 12, and they eat at 8 and 9, 8 and 9. Perfect. Now please, come over here, we need to have supervision for these crazy guys, okay? Uh, game, what the hell is going on? Once again, I ask you, why do my, do my workers uh, decide that uh, it is a good idea to stop working? And this is not complete. There is work orders that need to be done. And yet my workers decide, hmm... You know what? I don't feel like working. We have space for deliveries. We have space in the storage. We have workers. I have money. What gives? <sighs> let's try to do this. Control. Control, I said game. And let's prioritize all of this. Okay? Everything in here is prioritized. And everything in here is prioritized. Okay? Will it work now? Hey, good sir. You are not tired. You are just idling. And, um... Idleness is not something that I tolerate, okay? I don't like idleness, especially when I'm paying you. So go to work! So, will someone take care of this prisoner over here? Like, uh, if I go over here, orderly. I need a couple of these anyway. Will you take care of him? Orderly? Bro, take care of this guy! What the hell? Bro, cop him, take his ass back into his cell. Okay? There are plenty of those available. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have capacity. We have the cells. Get on with it. I really don't get it. I, like, we have uh, solitary confinements available. Uh, should he have committed any uh, offenses that require that? So it's not that. We have cells available. So it's not that. We placed an orderly right next to him. So it's not that. Like, um, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to put aside the fact that I might be playing the game wrong, okay? That is, that's always a possibility, right? Mm, but still, I feel like, um, something is wrong with the game itself. 
I'm going to say. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that. Uh, but, f but uh, you know, it happens. Let's try to endure it and see what happens over there. But uh, what I kind of want to do is a prison wide shakedown. Why? Because there is a lot of things that we can't find uh, during the day. So we are going to find them during the night. No! God damn it! What what happened? Oh! <gasps> no fucking way! You're not going to live after this one. You can be damn freaking sure. You killed two guards. Well, technically a guard and a dog. Uh, technically a, da a guard and a cat. But still, kill him! Kill the motherfucker! Shoot him again! He's still not dead. Jesus, there I was trying to to go for a time lapse, right? Uh, well, uh, we got most of the time lapse anyway, and this unconsiderable dimwit decided to kill a guard and a dog, because that's precisely what uh, someone should do. Clearly, someone didn't saw John Wick. Well, no, or maybe they did because they killed the guy, you know, to make sure that nothing was going to happen to them. <sighs> Why didn't you die? But uh, in any case, we got, um, well, the danger level is increasing rapidly because they are all very upset that we searched their cells. Well, tough cookies, we discovered the next uh, escape plan. Well, we destroy that tunnel, of course. And uh, hopefully we remove... We still didn't remove all the weapons. Wait, did someone take the... Uh, ta uh, I don't think... Um, I don't think these guys use uh, tasers. No, they don't. So, uh, you don't have a weapon. You have jail keys, dog leash, and nothing else. So, they didn't t t take your weapon. But I need to hire another dog handler now. Hopefully, um, your fate will be better than the, your, pre your predecessor. In any case, uh, we got the shakedown underway, but as you could, guys could see, that took Every um... oh stop. Let me see. Do I have the capacity for the intake? I don't think. Thank God I saw that. Otherwise, uh, things were going to be a little bit bad. We have capacity for three, so that's precisely what we are going to take. Uh, but uh, I, sh I'm so dis. Okay. There is more. There is more that need to be sedated. Come on, orderlies. Come on, stab his ass! Stab him in... Come on, stab him in the butt! There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at our fat fatality rate. We have uh, 17 um, prisoners' fatalities and 4 staff fatalities. So far... It's... It's not terrible. Okay, it's not terrible. But it could be... It, it could be better. It could be better. But um, in any case, let's continue. Let's pretend we didn't see anything. And let's uh, continue with the green power grid. And now this one is... I was just waiting for a little bit more money. Because this one is going to be uh, reinforced. With a bunch of these guys. I know this is very expensive. But this line... This is the line that is going to replace our... Um, uh, our main grid, right? The, the the main grid that is supplied by the power from outside. Um, we are going to replace this grid with the one from here. That's why we need a little bit more boost uh, to our power production in this uh, grid because uh, the uh, workshop is in here and uh, we have uh, room for expansion in the workshop. I made it big on purpose should we need to, um, to make more machines. Uh, yeah, because the, uh, believe it or not, the workshop is actually uh, a source of uh, good, um, good profit. Let's see if I can find 
uh, exports yesterday, F uh, 4K on exports, and most of these exports are from the workshop. So, yeah, I in fact, now that I th speak about it, it would be a good idea to check if there is, nope, there is no um, qualified uh, people for the uh, carpentry, because the uh, luxury beds, they sell for a good price, let me tell you right now. Uh, but let's, since we are already here, let's see, in the workshop, safety introduction. We have eight that passed, finally. Jesus. Now, the foundation program uh, is a little bit of a bust. From 14 that uh, participated, zero have passed. These are some dumb prisoners. Because, uh, like, this is the basic grade. There is then, after they pass the foundation uh, education program, they, they have the second grade, which is the general education qualification. And if no one can pass the basic grade, no one will be able to pass this one. And uh, I find this amazing, right? Okay, so we we did a, a, a shake-up the night before. The prisoners have not le left their cells, okay? They left their cells to go to the shower. That's it. On the way there, they found narcotics and luxury products. These weapons and tools they had from before, we didn't found them. Uh, but they already found a freaking narcotic... Ow! <laughs> How is this possible? I, I don't know. But they found them. Okay, guys, so... We have our very first prisoners that, are, that uh, meet the criteria that we have set up to move into the minimum security um, uh, space. So, let's see, what happens if I go here? Approve transfer? Destroy... <laughs> uh, what? Appro approve transfer of prisoner? Destroy lane to minimum... Oh, okay, his name is Destroy Lane. Okay, I kind of was uh, not really um, understanding what the hell was that. So let's just take a look. Your grading is two percent in the uh, of reoffending chance. So you know what? I will accept you. You are approved. Halt. You. Grading two percent. Approved. You know what? If you are in here, you probably you, all of you have. Um, let's see. Yep, reoffending rate be uh, below twenty percent. So, yep, that's all that I care about is that you have a low reoffending rate and um, that at least you have passed a uh, a program. And of course, you're not a gang member. All these other things are bonuses. Yeah. Okay. So we have our very four, very first transfer. Uh, now from max from to medium, there is nothing, and of course minimum security. No one wants to go, to go up. So yeah, that is done at least. Now we saw how that part works. Oh boy! In the middle of this confusion, there is a uh, mayhem going on. Whoa! 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 What the fuck? Is this guy carrying a, a bottle? What the hell? What the hell is that? Is that a symbol or, or something? Hmm. I don't know, but I kind of want to search you just in case. Search prisoner. Just in case we might find something. Now I don't know where the hell are these guys going. Oh, you. Of course. What should I be expecting, right? Now, please tell me that this guy has booze on him, because he has a, a bottle of booze right next to the uh, to the name, so I don't get it. In any case, he's going to be searched eventually. I also upgrade our metal detector in here, I put I placed uh, several more... There we go, he has been pacified uh, with a taser to the mouth. Uh, but I upgrade the metal detectors over here to give us a more, uh, let's just say, a, a higher op higher chance to find the contraband, right? Like, we have metal detectors, we have dogs, we have this thing over here. I found ridiculous that they have all of this contraband uh, available to them. Alright guys, so finally our uh, ex cell block uh, C. Uh, no, D. The cell block D is now complete, so we can go into logistics. Nope, into deployment. 
Medium security only, and voila. Right now we have... I would say 57 more uh, cells, or 60 something? 62, yeah, because uh, that's uh, this block is a copy of this one, and uh, yeah, it makes sense, 62 plus 62 equals, yep, 124. Makes a sense, which means we can come over here into the intake, um, number per day, let's close all of this, and let's say... I want 30 additional medium security prisoners, that is going to give us a quite a big, the big boost to our economy, it's still not the amount of money that we want to have to expand to maximum security uh, levels, but still, our economy is growing, our bank. Um, for now, even though the number of prisoners is increasing, we didn't uh, add any of uh, any need to increase the number of uh, security personnel that we have uh, in our prison, which is good. And um, yeah. Oh, by the way, this has been expanded. I don't know why they built built it like this. Where's the door? Oh my God! Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I probably cloned it wrong. It was my uh, my own fault and no one else's. But still, a little bit annoying that the game forgot to, to uh, place the freaking door. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we expanded our solitary confinement from now on. A deer's over here will count as padded uh, thingies, padded uh, solitary confinements. There we go. What? Ah, okay. And uh, yeah, that way we have more capacity for crazy dudes and uh, regular dudes in the solitary confinement. Still, this is completely temporary. I kind of want to make a wing like this, but of course smaller, uh, just for solitary confinements. And during the night, our workers uh, replaced the uh, power grid we disconnected from over here. Um, and now, we are almost there. We just need a few more things. Uh, like, uh, we need to connect this grid over here, this uh, lime green uh, grid, to uh, this one to consume the rest of the power and then just deconstruct all the things around this and even maybe just turned off the uh, uh, the reactor, the uh, yeah, reactor power transformer or whatever. But yeah, we can complete that in the next episode because unfortunately guys this is all the time that I have for today's episode and uh, I already hear gunshots not gunshot, taser shots, but still uh, this is going to be a animated day, I can see uh, we already completed our cell block D over here let me just finish one extra thing before I forget, which is to connect these two cameras uh, that way uh, we have vision inside the block. Fantastic. We now have uh, a lot more capacity for medium security uh, prisoners, which is amazing. We are going to be paid quite the FT amount. Uh, we are also uh, selling a lot of power now. Power export, just okay, really. Yesterday was uh, a little bit more, no? Uh, maybe we are using more power. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the uh, Clearly there was an update because now we are not selling $500 for, um, uh, I mean, $500 per power export. Each export has a set amount that is, um, uh, that fluctuates as you increase or decrease the power consumption, right? And, um, yeah, so, next episode, uh, we shall focus on making a little bit of bank so we can start working on our maximum security grid. By the way, how much will it cost? Jesus. We don't need uh, that much space, actually. We just need space for uh, one cell block and a few facilities because, uh, hey, maximum security prisoners, they spend most of their day in lockdown. That's the fact. And, yeah. That's it, so with that said guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye-bye! Hmm,